The new message is here to save humanity from calamity and from subjugation in the universe as you begin to emerge into a greater community of life, a greater community in which you have always lived and with which you must now learn to contend. But it is also here to give the individual a new experience to foundation and the opportunity to restore their life, to redeem themselves and to utilize their abilities and the power of knowledge within themselves to be of service to a world whose needs and difficulties are escalating with each passing day. Many people have given up on the search for greater meaning or they never cultivated it to begin with. For them, the new revelation will be a curiosity, or an object of condemnation, something upon which uh, they can project their fears, their judgments, and their grievances, without ever really understanding what they are looking at. There will be all manner of response to this, of course. But it is important for those who are coming to this with an honest intention and with humility and sincerity to realize the power and the potency of God's revelation and what it can mean for them to restore them, to give them a greater purpose and direction which already live within them. For you do not invent purpose and direction for it is built in, you see. It is part of the blueprint of your deeper nature. Beyond the realm of the intellect, beyond debate and speculation, this is. You can argue with it forever, but it just means you do not understand. It is important that people who come to the revelation sincerely, that they have an understanding of really at the outset that they are dealing with something of a greater magnitude. It is not a mere teaching amongst other teachings. It is not simply a promising thing that will give them what they want in life. It has a whole nother level altogether. That is why it is a new message from God. It's the only message from God in the world today. This does not mean the new message is going to craft a new life for you and give you a role to play, but that must come from within you, between you and yourself, between you and your engagement with life. Many people will need the new message to be the center of their practice and focus. And some people will be called to serve the new message directly because that is their calling. But for many others, it will give them the strength to discern a greater direction and to give them a greater internal power and strength to make the necessary decisions and to turn the corners that must be turned, to begin to move in a positive and meaningful direction. There are many people in the world today who know they must prepare for something, who feel called to a greater participation who have a sense that their life is more important than the mundane activities of the day. Some will not find their way in the religious traditions of the world because they are being prepared and called for something new in the world. They are more connected to the future than the past. And the future is calling them and pulling them forward. There are people
people destined to receive God's revelation, to study it, to apply it. They are not going to find their way anywhere else. If you are destined for something of this magnitude, well, you will not find satisfaction and fulfillment anywhere else. Try as you may. Believe as hard as you can believe. Try to alter your life like a tyrant. You still cannot make the primary unless your life is pointed in the right direction and the nature of engagement that is meant for you can be clearly discerned and accepted.